Magandang araw mga kasitnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will find the lengths of the segments determined by chords, seconds, or tangents. Let us discuss the first theorem, which is the two-chord theorem. If two chords intersect inside a circle, then the product of the lengths of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. Given this illustration, based on the first theorem, segment SM times the segment MP is equal to segment PM times segment MP. Suppose that PM measures X, MN measures 12, SM measures 9, and MP measures 4. Let us identify the measure of PM. By substitution, that is equal to 9 times 4 equals x times 12, which is equal to 12x equals 36. Dividing both sides by 12, we will arrive at x is equal to 3. Therefore, Tm measures 3 units. Given the same figure, if Tm is equal to 5, Mn is equal to 12, Mp is equal to 6, let us identify the measure of Sm. By substitution, we will have x times 6 is equal to 5 times 12, which is equal to 6x equals 60. Dividing both sides by 6, we will have x is equal to 10. Therefore, SM measures 10 units. If we are asked about the measure of segment SP, that will be 10 plus 6, which is equal to 16 units. Let's have the two-second theorem. If two seconds intersect outside the circle, then the product of the length of one second segment and its external segment is equal to the product of the length of the other second and its external segment. Given this illustration, we will have segment BF times the measure of segment CF is equal to the measure of segment DF times the measure of segment EF. Given the following measures, BC is equal to 1, CF is equal to 9, EF is equal to X, and DF is equal to 15. Let us identify the measure of segment EF. By proper substitution, that is equal to 10 times 9 equals 15 times x, which is equal to 15x equals 90. Dividing both sides by 15, we will have x is equal to 6. That means that segment EF measures 6 units. Given the same figure, if BC is equal to 3, CF is equal to 5, DE is equal to 6, let us identify the measure of segment EF. By proper substitution, that is equal to 8 times 5 equals the quantity 6 plus X times X. Take note that the measure of DF is composed of the measure of DE plus the measure of EF. That is why DF 
is represented by 6 plus x. Simplifying the equation, we will have 40 is equal to 6x plus x squared. Since this is now a quadra quadratic equation, let us write this in standard form. That is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 40 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of x, we need to factor this trinomial. And the factors of this trinomial is equal to x plus 20, x plus 10, times x minus 4. Equating both factors in terms of 0, we will have x plus 10 equals 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. Solving for the values of x, that is equal to x equals negative 10 and x is equal to 4. Since we are dealing with measurement, we are going to accept x is equal to 4 and we will reject x is equal to negative 10 because there is no negative measurement. Therefore, EF is equal to 4 units. Let's have our last theorem, which is a second tangent theorem. If a second and a tangent intersect outside the circle, then the product of the lengths of the second segment and its external segment is equal to the square of the length of the tangent segment. Given this illustration, based on the third theorem, that is the measure of NB square is equal to the measure of BG times the measure of segment BC. If the measure of NB is equal to 10, the measure of GB is equal to 25, let us identify the measure of segment BC. Using the formula NB squared is equal to BG times BC based on the second tangent theorem, by substitution that will be 10 squared is equal to x times 25, or simply 25x equals 100. Dividing both sides by 25, we will arrive at x is equal to 4. Therefore, BC is equal to 4 units. Using the same figure, if NB is equal to 9, GC is equal to 24, and CB is equal to X, let us identify the measure of segment BC. By substitution, we will have 9 squared is equal to 24 plus X times X. Take note that the measure of BG is composed of the measure of GC plus the measure of BC. That is why the measure of BG is represented by 24 plus X. Simplifying the equation, we will have 81 is equal to 24X plus X squared. The writing in standard form, we will have X squared plus 24X minus 81 is equal to 0. Since this is now a trinomial, we may factor this one out. The factors of this equation are x plus 27 and x minus 3. Equating both factors in terms of 0, that is x plus 27 equals 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. We will then have x equals negative 27 and x is equal to positive 3. Therefore, we are going to accept x is equal to positive 3 and we will reject negative 27 because there is no negative measurement. We therefore conclude that BC is equal to 3 units. Let us now generalize what we have discussed in this video. The two chord theorem states that if two chords intersect inside a circle, then the product of the lengths of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. Based on the two second theorem, 
If two seconds intersect outside the circle, then the product of the lengths of one second segment and its external segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the other second and its external segment. Lastly, according to second tangent theorem, if a second and tangent intersect outside the circle, then the product of the lengths of the second, second segment and, ex and its external segment is equal to the square of the length of the tangent segment. Let us now check your knowledge. Solve for the missing measures given the illustration. Do not forget to pause the video while you are doing the activity. Let us now discuss the first illustration. Let us solve for the measure of segment TM. Given that SM measures 15, MP measures 5, and MN measures 25 units. Based on the illustration, we will arrive at segment SM times segment MP is equal to segment TM times segment MP. By proper substitution, that is equal to 15 times 5 is equal to x times 25. Simplifying the equation, we will have 25x is equal to 75. Dividing both sides by 25, we will arrive at x is equal to 3. Therefore, Tm is equal to 3 units. On our second example, we are going to apply the two-second theorem. So based on the illustration, segment BF times segment CF is equal to segment BF times the measure of segment EF. BC is given by 9 units, CF is 3 units, EF is 4 units, and DF is missing. So let us now try to solve for DF. By proper substitution, we will have 12 times 3 is equal to 4 times x, which is equal to 4x equals 36. Dividing both sides by 4, we will arrive at x is equal to 9. Therefore, df is equal to 9 units. In the third illustration, we will apply the second tangent theorem. Based on the given figure, we will have nb squared is equal to segment bg times the measure of segment bc. nb is equal to 6 units, cb is equal to x, and gc is equal to 8x units. By proper substitution, we will have 6 squared is equal to 9x times x. Take note that the measure of bg is composed of the measure of CG plus the measure of BC. So that is 8X plus X. That is why BG is represented by the measurement 9X. Simplifying the exponent, we will have 36 is equal to 9X squared, which is the same as X squared minus 4 equals 0. Factoring the square Factoring this binomial, we will then arrive at x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Equating both factors in terms of 0, that is equal to x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Wherein, x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to positive 2. We are going to accept x equals 2 and we will reject x equals negative 2 simply because there is no negative measurement. Therefore, GC is equal to 16 units. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, 
feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.